Hello everyone, good morning, happy Friday. I hope everyone's doing well and the stress levels are coming down and if not, maybe my video will help you today. So I've pulled out some colors of the Kuritake 48 set. And so I've got the Prussian blue, the indigo, and the blue gray deep. And I've also pulled out the light blue, the horizon blue. And then for my lighter colors, I've got the gray out, the white, and the white gold. So basically like a shimmery type silver, which should bring us a little bit of glitter. All right, so I'm putting more water on the top because that's where I want to work first. And I'm okay if the bottom is drying by the time I'm done. And I forgot to spray down my my paints too, so we're going to do that right now. I'm going to go from dark to light. So I'm going to start with the gray-blue deep, I think is what this one's called. And then we're just going to let it let it do its thing. I It's okay for me if it goes down that way, but I kind of want to concentrate it on, on the upper portion. Hopefully I've left enough of a border so I can still play with these colors. And I might have to come back once this starts to dry and get it a little bit more wet because I want these um, borders to be quite feathery. So now I'm going down my colors and I'm bringing in the, uh, I think it's the Prussian blue. And we're just gonna let these mix organically. I'm gonna go in with a even lighter color. So let's see what I can play with here with the water that I have. I might add some more in the middle here. I'm actually kind of happy with what happened here because uh, the lighter colors are going to be towards the, the bottom, but we're still bringing in what's going on on the top and then it'll all melt together a little bit and become more cohesive. So as the paper is drying, I can start, you know, seeing some some elements form. And then I'm just gonna put some more pigment around that area. I really like what happened over here, so I'm kind of thinking we should continue to soften those edges. Might already be too late. I forgot to tell you that I am using the B paper and it's 100% cotton. So if you're not careful and if you want those wispy edges, which I haven't been able to do up here, 
the color has already soaked into the paper quite a bit. It the If you work on a cheaper paper like Canson, you have a lot more time to work on those wispy edges. Um, and it doesn't look like I'm going to have them up here, but I am absolutely not worried about it because I am loving what's happening up here and I actually like that nice crisp edge. So we're just gonna keep it. Okay, I think I'm ready to move to the lighter colors, so I will add a little bit more water now and maybe we'll connect this part and see what happens. This lighter blue is a little bit more chalky. It's more like um more like a a gouache type. It's got quite a bit of white in it. And sometimes the the top colors will not mix very well with these ones. I'm sure there is a more technical ooh, more technical term for it, but I just I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I've got to keep an eye on those edges if I want to keep them feathered and wispy. So I'm just going to keep adding water to the bottom section, especially where the color ends. And then I just keep adding color while at the same time paying attention to what's going on with the edges. So it was a good idea to wait until the top layer has dried a little bit because if I had done both at the same time, I would have moved too much of my darker colors around. And now that I look at it, I kind of want to bring some of those darker colors down just a little bit more. There's a little bit too much, too much light going on. So we just want to make sure that there's still some interest going on. actually quite happy with how this looks. 
I'm gonna let it dry now and see if as it dries especially this bottom part see if it dries um, okay and if not I will come in and add a little bit more as I keep working <laughs> I always do that forget what I said we're gonna keep going because there's quite a bit of water still here and there's some fun stuff happening that I know I can't leave alone so we're just gonna keep going just for a little bit longer Thank you. 